And all honesty, I think people have been questioning this for years, but the fact that it's confirmed is actually pretty crazy. So apparently Bird and Ernie from Sesame Street are gay now. Yeah. Gay, uh, I would say cartoon, like what, puppets? What is, what is Sesame Street even considered a sick? Any, anyway. So yeah, people have been thinking about it for years. I know people always made jokes about it. But for it to actually be implemented into Sesame Street, it's kind of crazy. So I think the real question is, do children really need to learn about homosexuality at a young age? I mean, personally, when, when did we start watching Sesame Street? Like, we're like toddlers. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about what to do with my dick when I was like eight, seven, six at that age when I was watching uh, Channel 11 and all that. I don't think children really even have a concept of sexuality in general at that age. So why they feel the need to make everything overly political and, you know, bring in gay characters and things like that in the children cartoons is beyond me. Purpose for that that I can honestly think of is I guess so children um, are warmed up to the idea that gay people exist at a young age. So I guess they're less likely to be homophobic. But here's the thing about that. Just because you have a, a character who's black in a show, characters who's gay, whatever, Muslim, whatever, if you're living in a household where you have homophobic parents or racist parents, it doesn't matter what you watch on TV. It, it, it really defeats the whole point of that. Because if you're going to implement a character into a movie or any type of medium, literally just on their identity, because they're gay or whatever it is that, that makes them a minority, People are only going to be looking at them based upon that. So they're going to be stereotyped. It, it really defeats the whole point of it. Literally trivializing the whole development and purpose of the character. If they're literally on there just because they're gay. I give you an example. It's like the Cleveland show. Cleveland show failed. But you know why? Because everything was stereotypical as fuck. The whole show just revolved around it being a black version of Family Guy. Some of it was funny, but most of that shit was, wasn't really funny. Like, what happened to that? I think about how patronizing it is to be a character on some type of show or something. Again, I'm gonna use myself example. Oh, well, that's the black guy. That's the Asian person. That's the transgender character. And another thing about that is, why do we need to provide so many politics in the children's cartoon? Why do they need to be hyper-realistic? Think about if Caillou was made in 2018. Be a cancer patient. Think about it. As a child, you don't understand these things. You're not thinking about, you know, the show this deep. But as you get older and you become an adult, you're like, okay, why the fuck would a child be bald? But as a child, you just, okay, he's bald. Like, who cares? You're not thinking about all that. So that's my point. Why do we really need gay puppets? You guys find it kind of ridiculous that people are more worried about the sexuality of puppets in this show? Rather than the fact that there's literally a fucking vampire in it that nobody seems to question. Like, honestly, leave all these social politics, ideologies, leave that out of Sesame Street. Having gay characters in a cartoon for children isn't going to save the world. It's not going to make people less homophobic. Because, again, it's just a fucking cartoon. Children don't even think about that type of stuff. If anything, they should have left it ambiguous where people could just decide what they want them to be. Because again, they're fucking puppets. Think about it. A cartoon is not going to make and break the type of person you're going to be and how you're going to feel as you grow up. If you grow up in an environment where that's what's put in your head, if you're taught to be racist or whatever it is to look down on Muslims or just however it is, whatever we're talking about. All of these things come in as your experience in life and your environment. Not Sesame Street. Yes. Can what you watch as a child make a difference? Yes. But are you going to be like, oh man, remember those gay puppets in Sesame Street? Yeah, I don't have a problem with gay people. It's just Sesame Street. Why does it have to be this deep? You're taking away the innocence out of the cartoons, man. And gay people don't deserve to be on TV and any type of medium or anything like that. No, I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being homosexual. And that's my point. There's nothing wrong with it. So why do you have to force that to be involved in everything? 
think about it. Do I need to tell you guys that I'm a human being? No. Do I need to tell you guys that I'm proud of being black and my skin color all that? No, because I'm not insecure. So I don't have to fucking bring that up and involved in every single thing. If you want, you know, stuff like that to be treated like it's normal for people to not, hey, look, gay people, to not make a fucking big federal case about it, then treat it like it's normal. And that's why I feel like they should have never went through all this. There shouldn't be any type of debate. The writers in that shouldn't be arguing about what the sexuality of puppies are. They should just leave it as it is, ambiguous. Let people make the choice. It's just Sesame Street. Nobody in that show was real. It's not that serious. Again, small children don't have a concept of race, sexuality. They're definitely not thinking about that at five, six, seven, eight years old. They're not going to discriminate based upon religion. And I damn sure ain't thinking about politics. So leave that out of Sesame Street. If you want to teach your children about certain things at a young age, that's between you and your family. Leave that out of TV. Stop implementing that in Sesame Street. It doesn't have to be Sesame Street. It could be anything. Stop trying to taint children's minds at a young age. Let people develop their own minds on their own. Stop trying to brainwash people.